Hey guys, I'm Maya. I make lifestyle and faith content and I'm really excited to be filming this video today. As y'all can see by the title, it's a try on haul. I have some pieces from Zara, Garage, H&M, Abercrombie, Pretty Little Thing, and then a few other little like miscellaneous items. I got a lot of pieces y'all. I've been collecting things since March, so I don't want to talk too much. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go in categories. So first I'll start off with tops. And I have this top here from Garage. It's a basic crop top. It kind of reminds me of like skims. It gives skims to me. The material isn't cotton. What is this, like polyester or something? I don't know what it is. But now, before you look too close, I'm gonna go ahead and say I did burn it. When I was ironing, I did burn the shirt. <laughs> so there's a little mark right here. But when I wear the shirt, you really can't see it for real. So I feel like it's cool. I'm gonna turn this so it can be that way instead. But yeah, I love myself a good basic and I love white and cream as you're gonna see throughout the rest of this haul. But I love this top and I know I'm gonna be wearing it so much these warm months. I'm really thinking about getting more in different colors if they have more. That was the only top that I had from Garage. So moving on, I got this bodysuit from Zara. It's just a basic bodysuit. It does um, button at the bottom, which is really nice. I know I hate wearing a bodysuit and having to literally get naked in a random bathroom. That's the most annoying thing ever. I also like that this bodysuit is double lined at the top. Like from here to probably about here is double lined. The only thing with that is, and you'll see it in the trial when I actually wear it, y'all, you can see the demarcation line of like where the double lining ends, you know, like that. But again, this is just another great basic to have. Perfect for the summer months because baby, I live in Georgia and it's going to be hot. So I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this. Sticking with Zara for now, I got this really pretty cream top. I thought that this was so cute and so pretty and I didn't have anything like it in my wardrobe so I just felt like I needed it. I will say I got this in a size small and the Lord didn't like give me too too much to work with up here you know. So on the website the way that they had it styled it was like off the shoulder and it looked beautiful. Baby I can't wear this off the shoulder. I can't wear this off the shoulder it will be falling off. <laughs> I will be flashing everyone. So I can only do it on the shoulder, which I'm kind of sad about because I just, I mean, it still looks cute on the shoulder, but I thought it was cuter off the shoulder, but I still love this top and we still gonna make it work. So yeah, I love the material of this. I love the like ruching. Um, here is the back. So I don't know. I just love everything about this. This next top, I can't put on hanger because it's strapless, but again, it's white, <laughs> but it's this really cute white strapless top i just thought this was so cute i thought it gave like picnic it just seemed so like dainty and cute to me and i could definitely see myself wearing this on a cute date this summer <laughs> it's a little harder for me to keep up um it will stay up it's just i will have to like pull it up every now and then you know this is my last top from zara but i got this sheer what color is this tan khaki colored top Again, I didn't have anything like this in my wardrobe, and I thought that it would be good for the spring summer. Obviously, as you can see, it's sh like it's sheer; it's literally see through. You can like see my hand through it. So I'm gonna wear it with a white, probably that white bodysuit from Zara underneath. It also has thumb holes, and I love a good thumb hole for some reason. I can see myself wearing this at night, like in the city at night. I don't. I mean, I could wear it during the day, but for me, it kind of more so gives nighttime vibes. But yeah, literally love this. Oh, that's kind of ghetto. I have this unbuttoned. <laughs> I have half button, half unbuttoned. But it does button all the way down. I really like the ruche detailing. It's in the back as well and even along the sleeves. So yeah, Zara 8. Somebody would want to like blow their grass while I'm trying to film. If you can hear that, I'm going to be so bad. Oh, I love this. I said that. <laughs> but next I have two tops from H&M and we're going to start with this one right here. Now this is a stark contrast. I was showing y'all all white or lighter colored tops. And now I have this black beauty right here. I feel like one shoulder tops are just really in right now. And I thought this was so pretty. I thought this was so like classy and elegant for some reason. Again, it kind of has that rouge detailing. I guess I'm into that this season. And I would consider this to be a basic. I definitely would consider it to be a basic. I feel like it's kind of timeless. 
and a staple in your wardrobe this is the second top from h&m now i feel like i am a neutral girly but i also do like myself some color and pink is not my favorite color but i love pink when it comes to my nails and also wearing it i feel like it just looks really good on my skin tone so i got this pink button down top i love the material of it i also i love that it's lightweight so I feel like it'd be perfect for the warm months. And I also feel like this is very versatile. Like I could see myself wearing this to church and then also just like on a day out on the town or whatever. It's kind of one of those more like crinkly tops. I don't know if you guys can tell on the sleeves, but it's kind of like, it has that crinkly material to it. Okay y'all, this is my last top. I got this really bright and colorful sweater from Target. This is the Wild Fable line. I literally was in Target. I think I was getting ready to go to Orlando and so I needed some travel essentials. And I saw this y'all and I was like, this would be so cute for the spring and the summer. It's this crochet top. It does have, you know, like the holes in it, which I feel like is perfect for the warm months. I would definitely wear just a bodysuit underneath it. This is very much a statement piece. Like you, whatever you wear this with, you don't have to do too much else because the sweater says it all. I love the colors on it. I feel like they all go together so well. And you could accessorize with this so much because it has so many different colors. Like I could wear pink shoes and an orange purse or vice versa or like blue sunglasses. Like there's so much that I could do with this sweater. So I love it. Now we're going to move on to bottoms and we're going to start off with Zara again. I got these really cute parachute pants. I don't know if this is, do these match my nails? No, not really. I don't know if this is like periwinkle or lilac. What would y'all say? It's definitely a light purple. I'm going to take it off the hanger. So I'm very much a jeans kind of girl. I love jeans. But I really want to step out more and try different styles of pants. And I feel like the spring summer is a great time to do that. So I saw these and I was like, oh, these are so cute. And I love them because they're not heavy. They're lightweight, which good for the summertime. You know, they're not super thick. They have this adjustment at the top so that you can adjust the waist, which is perfect because I can pull it exactly how I need it to fit on me. And like they fit great. They also do have the adjustables on the bottom so you can make them as wide or tight around your ankle as you want for me i feel like these are definitely a little more like dress down type of vibes i mean i i could wear heels with them but i just imagine them with sneakers or sandals for real next i got these cream shorts and i'm gonna let y'all see the try on i will say when i tried them on i was kind of disappointed they did they just weren't flattering on me I feel like I maybe should have got an extra small just so that I could wear them a little more high-waisted because when I put them on, they kind of slouch or like they sit more at my, they sit a little more low-waisted and I personally don't care for low-waisted bottoms on myself. Yeah, but I don't know. We'll see if we can make it work. When I saw these, I got inspiration from Ryan Destiny. I'll see if I can put a picture on the screen, but there's this outfit she had wore like years ago, literally like 2019. And I was like, oh, that is so cute. She was wearing this sweatsuit but the bottoms were sweat shorts and then she had on heels and i just love that look and so that's kind of what i was thinking i could do when i bought these but baby i'm not ryan destiny first of all <laughs> they do have pockets but i feel like on these it's kind of they kind of should have not done that just because you can see the pockets in the front of the pants and i feel like that's a little cheap yeah i don't know about these y'all what y'all think like i said i'm a jeans girl so i had to give me some jeans <laughs> these are also from zara they are these high waisted straight leg split jean yeah there's a split at the bottom and i love split jeans i got these in a size four and your girl has been on a weight gain journey and so baby i'm not a size four no more Mm -mm, I'm not a size 4, but I'm still like delusional clearly and I thought that I could fit a size 4. But y'all, these jeans are so freaking cute. Like the wash, everything is perfect. Everything about them is perfect to me. I don't want to give them up. They're so cute. So I saw that those other jeans didn't fit right. 
And I was like, okay, well, let me try to get them in my right size. But they were sold out in my size of that exact same style. But I did get another, a similar style, just in a different wash. Um, and this is what they look like. They are a liar wash. They also have rips at the knees. And then they also do have the split at the bottom, which is cute. And I love a raw hem. So yeah, I got these in a size six. And these are a little longer um lengthwise if i wear them with heels it'll be good i could also cut them which i might end up doing like just cutting a little off the bottom yeah these are the wide leg jeans i got them in a size six they have rips on both of the knees and they also have the um the raw hem on the ends now my dilemma with these the size four was super tight like it was they was really tight on me but with these there's more gapping in the back which i'm just like Man, that sucks. But I'm gonna try to like wash these and see if they can shrink any. But yeah, I do like the wash of these. I like the rips and everything. They're they're cute jeans. I just I just gotta figure out my, my size and in my body. <laughs> but they're real cute. Cargos are like really in style right now, and I got myself some. These are like a little different though. I feel like they're not your typical cargos. I like this color green because it's not like a dark forest green i feel like cargos are naturally just a little more boyish so i would want to wear these with definitely heels maybe some sandals they do have these ties on the front to adjust the waist and then they also have the adjustable uh tie on the bottom so again you can make it like as wide or as loose well as wide as as wide or as tight as you want them to be i will say i like the fit of the parachute pants more than these but like I'm still gonna wear these. We are talking about the spring summer, so I had to get myself some shorts. Buying shorts is a bit of a dilemma for my body type. Wearing super short shorts is just not an option for me because my butt cheeks will be out, and that's just not my aesthetic. So yeah, I have to be like very careful with the shorts that I do buy. But I got these from Garage, and they're literally perfect. I love the style of them. I love the fit. I love the length. These are the short vintage, vintage cutoff shorts. I love the rip right here on the front of them. Again, they have like the raw hem. I also love the feel of the denim. I feel like they're not gonna be like choking me and they're not gonna be super uncomfortable. They also have the split on the sides, which I think is just a cute detail. Next, I got these bottoms from Pretty Little Thing. Um, they are jeans, but they're a different color. But I thought these are really cute. They are these straight leg. What kind of green is this? I don't know. Clearly, I'm not good with colors, okay? But they're these green straight leg jeans that I thought were really cute. I feel like I definitely would wear these with heels. Maybe some sandals, but definitely at least heels. And probably just like a basic white or cream top, you know? Just keep it real simple, real plain. Okay, y'all, this is my last item. I got these black denim jeans from Abercrombie and I just want to say I recently got put on to Abercrombie when it comes to jeans and I love their jeans especially their curve jeans they fit me perfectly these are the 90 straight ultra high-rise jeans and I got them in a size 6 they do have rips in both of the knees as well a little distressing right on the end but not like a complete raw edge hem I feel like a black jean is just kind of a staple and I didn't have any like cute black jeans in my wardrobe so i just feel like i needed to get some y'all remember when i said that was my last item yeah a lot <laughs> i got two pairs of shoes to show you guys and then we'll wrap this up i got these really cute closed toe heels from zara and i originally bought these y'all to wear with that pink shirt that i showed you guys from h&m i thought that that would go really cute um together for resurrection sunday actually which just passed but baby, the, the pinks, they're not the same. But the shoes are still cute nonetheless. And I definitely feel like I can find something to pair them with. These are my first closed toe heel. And closed toe heels are like really in style right now. And I think that they're perfect because, you know, sometimes like, yo, uh, toenail polish chip. When you're getting ready to go on a date. About to walk out the house, toenail chip. What do you do then? <laughs> 
you gotta change your whole outfit, you know? But it's like, low key, you don't have to if you got some clothes to heels. So I'm definitely gonna start getting more into them. I think that they're just so cute and they get very much like grown to me, classy vibes. So yes, we love these. I told you guys I like color, but I also like my neutrals as well. So I had to get myself some neutral sneakers this spring and summer. I got these New Balance 550s, which I think are so freaking cute. Like, these are so cute, y'all. I love that they're more slim because y'all know, like, a, not, a lot of New Balance can be more chunky. I bought these off Go, though, and they literally came in, like, a week. So, shout out to Go. All right, y'all, that is it for this spring, summer try-on haul. I really hope that y'all liked it. Like I said, this was my first one. I was really excited to film this, and I do want to do more, like, fashion content. If y'all enjoyed this, make sure you check out some of my other videos here on YouTube. Also, check out my TikTok and my Instagram as well. It'll be in the description box. And if you like anything, don't be shy. Press the subscribe button. Hit the follow button. All that. I would really appreciate it. But, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.